was just looking at Tucker Carlson. He's done this thing, basically. This is 23-year-old man. He calls it a kid, but it's a man um, who's got diabetes. He's overweight and he's depressed because he hasn't got a girlfriend. And the doctor has signed off for him to be euthanized. That is, to be killed. Now... Uh, the way he was presenting it is that this mother is perplexed and probably would be because at 23 years old nowadays we treat somebody like they're still a kid even though they're a man or an adult, an adult whatever. So she's up in arms obviously about it but uh, the state doesn't need to go to her for a consent, whatever, and it's been signed off. But they're actually going to go after minors. So they started with people who had terminal illnesses to put them out of their misery. And for that, if that was your choice... If, say, for instance, you don't want to go through the misery of cancer, I completely understand you want to get it over and done with quick and not have your family see you go through that. I get that, right? Uh, but then it became homeless people. Then it became uh, people with other illnesses. And then it became depression. If you were too depressed, you could get signed off, like this one has, to be murdered by the state, basically. Um, anyway, it now seems that they're going to go after the kids. Um, um, minors, as they put it here. Now... There are so many different layers to this. Um, when you register in UK your child uh, at birth, it pretty much becomes the ownership of the state. Yeah, you're the legal guardian, much like you're the legal guardian of your car. But the car can be taken away from you, as can the child. The state actually has a lot more law over you and control over you than you believe uh, or you would understand. But we'll get onto that in another video one day. However... So what the state has been doing over the last sort of 20 or 30 years with the help of media and the help of teaching and left-wing bias uh, school idiot teachers, whatever, they've been weakening the minds of kids, right? They've stopped them going out. You stay at home and play your computer. They've stopped them from being strong. They've made them weak by saying that, oh, nobody can say this to you and you're a special soldier and nobody's allowed to upset you and if they do, you can complain. And what you do is you, you weaken the character, you weaken the spirit, you weaken the immunity, you weak, everything gets weakened. And you're literally making a petritish breeding ground for depression. Now, I know this because I fell into that trap going back years ago and I started to feel like I was a special sausage. I'm bipolar, I'm special. No, you're not, mate. You're not special at all. Stop being a pussy. And that was it, really. And I had a mate around me who literally kicked me up the ass all the way and I felt disgruntled, bitter, twisted, how dare you, I'm special, and all the rest of it. And he went, well, no, you're not, actually. So what they've done is they've made uh, an entire generation of people weak through different things. And now, without the consent of the parents, they're going to actually let those kids, in the same way that they're going to tell these kids that if you decide that you want to be a woman, if you're a man or a boy, or if you're a, a girl and you want to be a man, that you can do so and you don't need your parents' consent. They're taking away any parental privileges that you might have had. Because let's be honest, having kids is a double-sided or double-edged sword. It's wonderful in one way that you have these lovely people that you cherish and you love and you care for. But they're pain in the ass at the same time. But the payoff is they're yours. And they grow up in your image to start with. That's the whole idea. But with the school system there, the... Uh, the legal system there and everything else they're being brainwashed into being something completely different and many times completely abhorrent and repugnant to the parents themselves but the parents can't do anything about it because the system's geared up against it they started earlier on with stopping them from being smacked and then any other discipline and then all the rest of it and it just turned into a place where kids and parents uh, knew their place the kids were in charge and the parents weren't so at the moment They've set this breeding ground up for the last 20 years of staying in and playing games and not being competitive with each other because everybody gets a medal or everybody gets a prize or whatever. So even though the slowest don't feel the need to compete, so they get worse. And you've got obesity, whereas in the old days, you'd be bullied if you're obese, right or wrongly. You would do something about it because it was easier than getting bullied. For years growing up, we've had a system where the, the, the community holds each other up. And in some ways, it was mean. In a lot of ways, it was mean. And you had to keep up with the the more active people. You had to... I mean, take, for instance, in the old days, when I was a kid, you had to win the heart of uh, a female you liked, a girl, as it was when I was a boy. Um, you couldn't just say, I expect her to like me because I'm a special soldier. It didn't happen. So you actively had to go out and put on 
your your best side. Show her why she should be attracted to you. You had to make an effort with your hair and try to dress nice, and you did your best. They don't do that anyway. Not nowadays. They don't make an effort at all. They don't clean their room. They don't come out of it half the time. They haven't got any jobs to do because they get their pocket money anyway. Otherwise, they're called child line or whatever it is over there. But what we've done is completely weaken these kids. So they're unattractive to each other. So they've got no confidence. So they've got no personality. They don't know how to talk with each other. And their future is pretty much knackered. And these kids can see it. So they're naturally depressed, obviously. It's not to say we couldn't fix this, by the way. It's not a total black pill. I'm telling you now, if I had 10 of those kids that were useless, right, and you gave them to me for a month and let me deal with them exactly the way I see fit, within a month, most of them would be acting fairly normally and getting along with each other and realising there's a whole new world out there that's actually quite fun and engaging. But there you go. So at the moment, the state has decided that we've weakened all these people right down. So we've got the mentally ill wanting to finish it all. We've got the physically weak. We've got the physically sick. Right? We've got the homeless. Now, Tucker Carlson and this guy said here that this is exactly the way that Nazi Germany started out. It wanted to get rid of the, the people it seemed that were going to be a burden on society. Um, it wanted to get rid of the weak people. It wanted to get rid of the people that didn't look right, the people that would come from a different culture. And it just got worse and worse and worse. Well, when they started out with assisted suicide, I was like, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. if it's for the terminally ill, I get that, and in, in some ways it's an act of kindness. I mean, it goes against religion, but they are. But this, they're going on, and they're moving on, and every few months they're coming up with something else. Where will it end? And at the moment, it's assisted suicide. Can you imagine a time that they actually decide that you have no place, that they've decided that you add no value to the community or to this world, and that you're... Your existence is no longer required. Hmm? Well, here's the thing. 10, 15 years ago, I couldn't have imagined anything that we're going through now, but here we are living it right now. So what does the future hold? We know they've got those super prisons all built already. Who are they to hold? Because I bet it's not your average criminal. Will it be people who they've decided that they've ring-fenced for euthanasia? Will it be people who go against the state? and argue back, hmm? who will it be? Have a think about that. But I just want to bring this up because it's happening in Canada, right? And there's a whole different world of rubbish going on over in Australia, as there is over in different parts of Europe. But they trial different things in different places to see how they work. But under a, a one-world government, which is what's been pushed for, everybody must know about that now. I mean, let's be honest, the left to say, no, it's not happening, but you wanted a... European government that took care of everything that was just one side of it so there you go um, ask yourself the question when you look at your kids if that kid got depressed for a while and then went to the doctor and said I want to end it all and the doctor said fine and signed off on it what would you be able to do legally if you tried to step in and get in the way they'd lock you up you'd be the evil person this child needs to die we're going to kill it that's the kindest thing we need to do that's a possible future, you know. So, just keep your eye on Canada at the moment, because they seem to be really marching ahead with this Klaus Schwab way of thinking. And anything that doesn't match up to their great expectation, or anybody who will seem like an old person, or a, an ill person, whether it be physically or mentally, all of these people are being given a way out. But half of these people they're created through the social system, or in the case of the old people, through a lot of lack of health care because it was busy looking after people who were new to the country. So, there it is. Anyway, I hope you like the content and um, I'm going to get on. There's a lot more to do today and I'm going to spread it out over my different channels. So, the next video I do <clears throat> will be on my Simon Evans channel. So, go and have a look over there after you finish this. I will put a link up in here for that. All right? I'll see you in a bit.